Good day Grade 12. Welcome to the next lesson in Finance, Growth and Decay. So the last lesson we did we looked at future value annuities and today we're going to be looking at present value annuities. So in this case we're looking at loans and ro loan repayments. Remember I said to present value annuities or when you already have the money, you've been loaned it, you've been given it and now you need to pay it back. So the amount is called the present value. So the amount that we are give, get given in advance is the present value. So that's your PV. The new formula for the present value is equal to x times by 1 plus 1 minus i all to the power of negative n over i. And again, this formula is given to you on the formula sheet, so you don't have to panic. But you do need to know how to use it, so we're going to practice that. But let's just go through the little variables. So you've got PV, which is your loan amount or your present value. X is the regular repayment that we're paying, I is your interest rate, always as decimal, and N is the number of intervals or the number of payments that we're going to make. So let's look at an example. So Peter buys a house for a cost of 650,000 Rand, he pays a 10% cash as deposit. Okay, so he pays 10% cash as deposit, that's important. And the rest is paid as a bank loan. So he takes out a bank loan for the rest. The interest on the loan is 12% per annum compounded monthly. And the question is, determine the monthly repayments if the loan is repaid over 20 years. So the first thing we need to realize is that Peter paid a deposit of 10% cash. So that means that 10% of his 650000 he is already paid which is 65,000 Rand. Agreed? So that means how much is his loan? His loan is actually going to be 650,000 minus 65,000. Okay, which is 0, 0, 0, that becomes a 5, that becomes a 4, 14 minus 6 is 8, and that's a 5. So his loan, the amount of money he's loaned from the bank is actually now 585,000, and that is our present value. Okay, now what else do they tell us? They tell us that the interest is 12% per annum compounded monthly. So therefore i is going to be 0 0.12, divide, changing your 12% into decimal, but it is compounded monthly, so it's 12. The number of payments, it's 20 years, 20 years, but we pay it monthly, so it's times by 12, so that becomes 240. Right, so then all we have to do is substitute into this equation to find out what our monthly repayment is going to be. So, we've got the PV, which is 585, 1, 2, 3, equals X times by 1 minus 1 plus I, which is 0 0.12 over 12, all to the power of negative 240, all over i, which is 0 0.12 over 12. So again, we want to get x by itself, so we're going to get rid of this by times in both sides by this. So we get 585, 1, 2, 3, times by 0 0.12 over 12, equals x times by 1 minus bracket, 1 plus 0 0.12 over 12, all to the power of negative 240. So let us get out our calculator and let us clear it and let's start with the beginning. So let's get the left hand side. We've got 585, 1, 2, 3 times 0 0.12 divided by 12 and it comes to 5850. So this is 5850 equals x. Okay, and then let's do the left-hand side. Now the left-hand side is a bit tricky, so we're going to take it slowly. Clear, so we're going to go 0 0.12 divided by 12. Type, I mean, add our 1, so we're going to add our 1. Then we take it to the power of negative 240, which is going to be a very small number. And we need to subtract that from 1. So we're going to subtract that, subtract 1 from it and we'll end up with a negative version of what we actually want, which is 0 0.91. So 
So this is going to be 0 0.91. So now we need to divide both sides by this 0 0.91. Divide both sides by 0 0.91. And therefore, x is going to be 5850 divided by 0 0.91 which equals 6,428 and 57 cents. 6,428, 6,428 and 57 cents. So do you see that that there is the amount of money he's going to pay per month? So per month, per month for 240 months, he is going to pay he is going to be 6428.57. Right, now they've asked us, and I don't think I left space for it, it says calculate the total amount of money paid in the house at the end of the 20 years. Calculate the total amount of money. Remember that he paid a deposit, he paid a deposit of 65,000 Rand. Okay, so in order to find space, I'm actually going to delete what we've just been working on. So I'm going to get rid of this and that. And it's saying it wants to know how much he actually paid for this. It's all very well saying he took out a loan for 585000 and he paid 65000 deposit. But in fact, he's been paying a huge amount of interest each month. So now we need, and it's been for 20 years, so now we need to know how much he actually, I wish this eraser was bigger, how much he actually paid. So, do you agree that it's actually quite easy? He paid his original 65,000 plus he paid 240 times this. So therefore we can say we've got 604.28.57 times by 240. That is his repayments on his loan. So let's get out our calculator and move it over here so we can see what we're doing. Clear. So we've got 6428.57 times 240. It's a huge number. It's going to be 154, oh, okay, 1542.856. 1542856.8. So that works out to be 1542856.8. But that's just his repayments on the loan. We now have to add the deposit of 65,000. So that becomes 65,000. So that's 86587 North Carry 16. Wow. So on a house of 650,000, Peter's paid 1,607,856.80. That is a lot of money. And that grade 12 is how you work out your present value and you do calculations with the present value. Please go practice. You need to realize that you need to know the difference between future value future value and present value, you need to know which equation to use and then go do the assessments at the end of the section. Have a lovely day.